Hi, my name is John Murray, and I'm a member of the Institute for Classical Architecture and Art. I would like to introduce you to an amazing architectural gem in my neighborhood, the town of Kinderhook, New York. The town of Kinderhook, New York is a little over two hours north of New York City. It is east of the Hudson River and is known for being the hometown of America's eighth president, Martin Van Buren. About three miles west of my farm is a rare, fully preserved Dutch colonial house built in 1737 by the Van Allen family. Over seven generations of Van Allens lived here. What I find truly striking about the building is its wonderful sense of proportion. It stands from the foot of the stone foundation nearly 32 feet in height. With its addition built in 1767, the footprint of the house measures 25 feet by 69 feet. On its exterior, the Dutch style can be seen in the steeply pitched roof and parapet gables. It's fascinating to think that the brick of the building is only a mere eight inch thick skin to the underlining timber frame construction. The house consists of nine Netherlandic H-shaped vents that support the load of the attic and the roof. The brickwork is remarkable in its pattern. The walls are laid in alternating courses of stretchers and headers in what is often called an English bond or in Dutch, a standing bond. Each alternating header is glazed, which displays a unique pattern effect. The steep gable is rendered in a sawtooth pattern of brick known as brick tumbling. On the south elevation, one can see the distinct anchor irons that tie the hand-hewn timber H-bent to the brick. And what is so charming, are the stylized numerals that denote the year the house was built. Another feature that I love is how the house sits in such a stately manner on its expressed fieldstone foundation. The house is sited with its gable running on a north-south axis. That permits sunlight to poetically stream through the three sets of transom windows over the east-facing Dutch doors. Early settlers of Columbia County maintained their Dutch culture in their architecture and furnishings. And upon entering the Van Allen House, one can see elements of period houses built in the Netherlands. Whitewashed plaster walls and red painted trim, transom and casement windows, deep ceiling beams supported on stylized brackets, two-part doors, wide random with pine floors, and open fireplaces. On the ground floor of the house, there is what is called the best room. With a warming fireplace, it was in this room that guests were received and the head of the house slept. For classicists, it's particularly exciting to see the amazing cantilevered jamless fireplaces with bold classical entablatures with pulvinated friezes. Fortunate for all of us, the house has been restored by and is in the care of the Columbia County Historical Society. Today, the house serves as a museum preserving and educating local school children and visitors about upstate New York colonial life in the 18th century. Currently on 33 acres, the house has been designated a National Historic Landmark. An elegant park-like backyard now showcases black locust trees, which were brought by the Dutch settlers and commonly planted around their houses. Armchair travelers wishing to visit the house can watch Martin Scorsese's film, The Age of Innocence. Countess Orlenska writes that it is the only house in America where she could imagine being perfectly happy. This was a short tour of the Van Allen House. Thanks for joining me to see some important architecture in my neighborhood.